Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today you guys are in for a treat because I will be making some Christmas cookies with um, a little bit of German tradition in it. All of these are vegan so there's no egg or dairy in them which is great if you're intolerant to that. We have three different recipes. Each recipe has a different difficulty level, so I'll be starting with the easiest recipe. So the first one I'll be making is a hazelnut Christmas cookie. However, here in the States, it's kind of hard to find hazelnuts, and so I decided to make it with almonds or almond flour. The second Christmas cookie I'll be making is a Christmas cinnamon star. I have a super yummy citrus powdered sugar glaze third Christmas cookie that I'll be making is a chocolate vanilla roll. Now these ones are a little bit harder to make but you can do it. If you like this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe but enough for the talking let's get into it. I'm going to be using a Bosch kitchen machine. It's gonna make it a little bit easier to do these recipes. But if you don't have one, no problem. Just use a whisk um, or any type of other kitchen machine. The first recipe calls for hazelnuts or almonds. So we have two and a half cups of almonds right here that we're gonna to add to the kitchen machine. The recipe calls for butter, but instead we're going to be using the Earth Balance, which is pretty much a type of margarine. But this one is really great. It's called Earth Balance and it's non-GMO and vegan. And we're going to be using 14 ounces of this. I heated this up in the microwave just a little bit, so it's going to be easier to mix with the rest of the ingredients. We're going to add this to the mixture as well. Next, we're gonna add a cup of sugar. Add a teaspoon of vanilla. Last, we're gonna add three and a half cups of flour. Gonna add the cover to it because it's probably gonna spill a little bit. So we're gonna turn the kitchen machine on. Just to make sure, I'm gonna add um, a little bit of applesauce so that the dough is gonna hold together. I'm going to transfer this cookie dough into a bowl and cover it and chill it in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes. I'm going to take the dough, kind of put it into the flour, and then you want to roll it out into kind of like a string. And then all you do is you just cut it into different pieces. And then you're gonna place it on the and then you're gonna place it on the cookie sheet. We're gonna put these into the oven at about 90 and let them cook for about 15 minutes. For our beautiful hazelnut cookies, we are going to glaze them with chocolate on both ends. 
So what I have done is I just microwaved a little bit of dark chocolate. Um, there's no dairy in it. And we're just gonna dip them into the chocolate. This. Focus on that. Okay, and then on the other side. And then we're going to place it on wax paper. Next, we're gonna be making the cinnamon star cookies, and these ones are super yummy. For this recipe, we're gonna be using an egg replacer, and I'm gonna show you how to use the egg replacer. We're gonna need two, three quarter cups of oats, rolled oats, and then about three quarter of a cup of flour, eight ounces of the vegan butter, some cinnamon, half a cup of almond flour, one cup of sugar, and then the egg replacer. We need to replace two eggs. We will need three teaspoons of the powder. We will add four tablespoons of water to the mixture. And then we're just gonna mix it up. And then what you get is this gooey mixture. This gooey mixture will act as an egg in the dough. And it will make sure that everything will stick together and bind together. I'm going to add everything to the mixture. We got our flour and our oats, our almond flour, gonna add the eggs to it or the egg replacement. If you want to do this with an egg you can just use two normal eggs. Our vegan butter, our sugar, And then we're gonna season it just with a little bit of cinnamon. Actually, you can use quite a bit. If I had to give you the measurements, I would probably use two teaspoons of cinnamon. Let's fire this up again. We'll transfer this again to a bowl. And then you kind of see it's a little bit moist and sticky. That's okay because we're going to add some more flour once we roll this out. I will cover this and put this back into the fridge. The cinnamon star cookie dough is done. It's ready to go. We got it right here. Check it out. Beautiful. So we're gonna roll this one out. We're gonna add a little bit of flour and then we're gonna use different types of... Hey babe, what do you call these? Okay, thanks. We're gonna be using these different types of cookie cutters to make the cookies. Um, I got a shooting star and then two other star cookie cutters. Put a little bit, of, we're gonna put a little bit of flour on there.
put these in there for about 8 to 10 minutes. The cinnamon stars turned out okay. I think if I were to do them again, I would add a little bit more flour to the dough and I would make sure to cut them out nice and thick. You can see the thicker ones are a little bit better than the thinner ones. What we want to do now is put a glaze on the cinnamon oatmeal stars. And this is gonna be pretty easy. All you need for this is two to three tablespoons of lemon juice and powdered sugar. Okay, we got our lemon juice right here. And then our powdered sugar. And we'll just add a little bit of powdered sugar to the mixture. Uh, three teaspoons. And then we're gonna whisk it up. We got the glaze ready, and this is about the texture that you want to have. I used quite a bit of powdered sugar, about two cups, and then again, um, two to three tablespoons of lemon juice. I'm just going to use a kitchen brush. I'm going to glaze the cookies. Last recipe, we're going to do the vanilla chocolate swirls cookies. We need one cup of powdered sugar, about one cup of flour, a teaspoon of vanilla, a tablespoon of cocoa powder, a cup of butter, and some almond milk to make the dough a little bit smoother. For this recipe, we need two different types of dough. We need the chocolate dough and then we need the vanilla dough. We're gonna start off with the dry ingredients and you might wanna grab a strainer for this. We're gonna put the flour through this, kind of making sure it's all smooth, as well as the powdered sugar. Next, we'll add the vanilla to it, the butter, and we're already gonna add a little bit of vanilla almond milk to it. Covered up, let's have the kitchen machine do its magic. Once done with the vanilla dough, we're gonna take half of it and put it in a different bowl and add the cocoa powder to it. There it is, 45. We got the vanilla dough and we got the chocolate dough. Again, we're gonna put these in the refrigerator for about 30 to 45 minutes. The dough for the vanilla chocolate swirl cookies are is ready. Well, both of them are ready. Okay, now what we have to do is we have to roll them out into two rectangles that are about the same size, and then we're gonna put them on top of each other. Next, we'll have to put the dark cookie dough onto the vanilla cookie dough. And then I'm gonna try to just roll this up a little bit, like nice and carefully. This is probably a good trick. And then I'm gonna place this on top of it. Okay. And then I'm gonna press it down just a tiny bit. Make sure the edges match. Just cut off that extra dough just a little bit. 
Oops, it came off. It's not, that's okay. Okay, and then next I want to roll it up. Nice and tight. This is what it's going to look like. We're going to put this into saran wrap and then let it chill for a little bit. Last step for the vanilla chocolate swirl cookies is to cut this up. And it was really important to leave this in the refrigerator for 45 minutes to an hour because the two different doughs stick together in the fridge and it's going to be a lot easier to cut and they're gonna cook a lot better this way. All right, you can kinda see how beautiful they look. Very, very nice. Cooking these for 12 minutes. There you have it. Those are the three recipes for the cookies. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave me a thumbs up. I'm gonna go ahead and eat these cookies. I'll see you guys later.